butterfly and you got to slide across and make a save, rebound goes over, and you get across, there's a couple things you want to make sure you're doing. One, keep your body square. A lot of times as a new goalie, you have the tendency to lean into where you want to go, and you don't necessarily want to do that. Yeah, you want to lead with your head and your arms, but you don't want to be leaning into it. You want to make sure that you're square. You want to make sure that you're up, you're ready for it. That way, your body's not going to twist. You're going to make sure that you stay up there and make sure you're prepared for the shot. Next thing you don't want to do is you don't want to be sitting back. Sometimes we'll get a tendency to sit back, but it happens, push across, and now you're not squared up. So, when you're about to slide across, you want to make sure that you come up with your leg and you're going to kick out. A lot of times people say kick with your toe, kick with your heel, get the full blade down. Really, it comes down to your preference. It comes down to your range of motion as a person. Everyone has a little bit different. For me, I really prefer to get my toe in there. It just seems to be what works for me. You'll have to find what works for you. I'll turn around and show you what I do. Here, here. Get my toe up, boom. I got, I got a good lock right away. You can see that my leg is not a very angle. That means that it's quicker for me to get my leg up and get across. So sometimes when our pads are too tight, sometimes we just feel the need to get our leg up like this, and that's going to take a lot longer in a reactionary situation. So you want to make sure you're able to just get your leg up, boom. Right? So if a shot comes up, kick. So you want to make sure that you're getting a good kickoff. A lot of that's going to come from keeping your body square. You start to lean one way, lean back, lean forward, or lean to the other side. You're not necessarily going to get a good leverage point to be able to anchor your knee, anchor this leg, and kick off. So what it'll look like is up, kick, up, kick, up, kick. That. you can practice that. What I would recommend, start standing, what you're going to do, you're just going to drop, kick across, get up, same thing the other side, kick across. Show later in this video how you can do that just across the lines, good workout for your legs as well, it gets you into the habit of really kicking across. As you get better, start staying in your butterfly, stay up, kick, Fully slide across. Notice when I slide, my trailing leg comes right back into butterfly position. So we don't want it to hang back. You don't want to kick and leave it. Now you're off center. You're off square, out of balance. You want to make sure that you're up, kick, back. Up, kick, right back in. Back in. Okay, hey guys. Uh, gonna walk through what the padding and then the strapping on your pad should look like. Uh, so that you can do butterfly slides without so getting caught. A lot of times goalies will do them up a little too tight. They drop, but it starts to pull up so that you don't get a clean, a clean sit on the ice. Sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll sit down if they don't fit your knee properly. So, you know, you want to make sure that when you drop, that pad's going to stay vertical. It's going to create a nice seal. That's what they're there for, especially in a, a pure butterfly pad. So in terms of the strapping, take a look at my boot first. You want it to be loose enough that you can kind of stick a finger underneath the strap and your skate. So it is holding it there, but it does have slack, it does have leeway. Um, you know, that makes sure that my toe can get away from the pad a little bit. Definitely ensures that I'll be able to get good contact with my blade. If you look at the back of the pad, even in here, there's still slack all the way up each strap. I can put my whole hand, I can put a fist behind each strap. And up at the top, these are almost doing nothing. They don't even necessarily need to be on the pad. They're really just there for a little bit of stability to hold the pad a little bit more flush. But other than that, they're not doing anything to my leg. It's really the nylon Velcro here that is doing everything for holding the pad to my leg. And what that means is that if I'm in my butterfly and I pick up, this pad now is loose enough that it's going to get out of the way of my skate. So what that means is instead of having to get my leg way up here to make contact, now that the pad's on the way, I will make contact here for a good kick. 